So you're looking to change the link color in WordPress. There's a couple of different reasons as to why you would want to do this. First and foremost, of course, is as a branding technique. You may, however, want to improve your conversions on a specific affiliate link that you want to stand out. But just from a functionality perspective, link colors offer visual cues to your reader. It's important to quickly go through the four primary hyperlink states that you need to consider. Normal state, normal unvisited link. This is your baseline link that you'll see when you first visit the site. Hover state is the color and form that a link takes when the mouse is over the link itself. Active state is the exact moment that the link is clicked. And then visited state is this is a visited link, right? So this is a link that's gonna bring them back to a page they've already seen. Why does that all matter? There's ultimately four different primary ways that you can change your link color in WordPress. And depending on the state that you wish to change and whether or not you plan to make an individual link change or a change to your link site-wide, that will change which of these four is the best method for you. So let's jump in. So first method, if you're looking to change the normal state of an individual link color on a page or post, by far your easiest approach here is gonna be using the WordPress block editor directly. Um, so we'll head over to WordPress. At the moment, we're in a post editor field. And within the post, let's say that this is the link that we hope to change, the image color picker website link. You'll start by clicking and then highlighting the link. You'll notice that will provide a pop-up menu just above it. Select the down arrow icon for more options. And then from here, you'll select the second highlight, the one that has the letter A icon next to it. What will pop up is now the ability to change the color. So make sure text is selected from the sub menu here. And then you can either choose the colors that are being auto populated here. Typically these are theme uh, dependent and you may choose one of these. But if you click in the white and gray checkered rectangle, you also have the option to change color in the square here. You can use the slider. But then what I think a lot of people would prefer to use is they know the exact color they wanna use. So you can enter the hex value here. Hex value is simply a specific and unique code or value that's associated with every color. So you may say to yourself, well, I have my logo, my side icon. I know the color within that that I'd like to use, but I don't know the hex value. Easiest approach here is to jump over to imagecolorpicker.com you'll upload your site logo or whatever image file you're, you're hoping to choose, and then put your cursor over the color you want and click. And you'll see on the bottom here, it auto populates the hex value. We'll copy that. We'll head back over to our post. We'll populate here. And then you'll click save and as always clear cache. And you'll notice then that that specific link color has now changed. Okay, method number two. If you're planning to make a site-wide change to your link color, so not just an individual link on a page or post, but across your entire site, the easiest method here is the theme color customizer. You're gonna get there through appearance customize within WordPress, we'll get to that in a moment. Most themes are pretty similar in terms of the exact steps you need to take to make this update, but they will vary a little bit. So we use generate press, our process will be a little bit different than yours, depending on the theme you do use. And a limitation worth noting here, you can change usually just two color states using this approach, normal and hover. If you wanna change other states, you're gonna to need to use method number three. We'll get to that in a minute. But if we head over to WordPress, you go to appearance, customize. As that loads, I'm gonna zoom out just so we can see the entire menu screen here. And then within generate press, we would go to colors, then head down to the content subsection and if we scroll down you can see like there's two options here one they call the initial color that's just your normal state the other is the hover state so if we click the color pop-up box arrives and it's the same one as before and you can make your adjustments either choose a color within the square or slider choose one of the defaults or add your hex value here and then at the end you'll hit publish you'll clear cache and you'll notice that site-wide your link colors have changed on to method number three. So you want to customize all four link states and you want that customization to take effect site-wide. Adding some custom CSS to your website is gonna be your best bet here. A lot of the times 
for beginner bloggers, they think that because there's a little bit of code involved here, they need to know how to code. So they may shy away. It's not the case. I rest assured this is a really simple process. And the whole technique here is depending on the state of the link color that you wish to change, you'll copy and paste the code listed here. And then you'll head over to, again, theme customizer. So we're here again. At the bottom, you'll select additional CSS. So this is true regardless of the theme that you're using. And then we'll make some space for our new code. We'll paste it in. And then you'll take your hex value for the color you desire, and you'll replace this, this text here, hex code, with the value. When you're done, again, you'll hit publish, you'll clear cache, and you'll see that for that state, the color has changed state site-wide. You can do that with all four states. So you just head back over to the post here. You choose either hover state, active state, and visited state. The overall CSS code is quite similar for each. Fourth and final method is to use a plugin called site origin CSS. There's two main reasons you'd use this method versus the others. One is you're simply not interested in playing around with custom CSS and that's fine. And the other is if you would like more functionality beyond just changing link color, say you'd like the link to increase in font size, to be bold, to be underlined, any one of those features is actually possible when you use this plugin. So let's head back over to WordPress. If you don't have the plugin already downloaded, you'll go to plugins, add new, You'll search for site origin CSS, install and activate it. Once the plugin is activated, if you head over to appearance and down to custom CSS, then click the eye icon. This is gonna open up the editor. So from here, whichever page or post you wanna change, you just drop in the URL at the top, hit enter, and then that page or post will load. Then you go to the link within the page or post that you're trying to change, click it to select it. And from the menu here at the top, this is A, which is the normal state, but if you click the drop down, you can change the hover state in any other of the four states you desire. You can change the text color here, but then what you'll notice as mentioned is you can also change the font size, line height, font weight, and beyond. It's kind of cool. So you have a lot more functionality with this approach. You'll hit save, clear cache as always, and then the individual link that you've changed will have these modifications reflected. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give us a like, subscribe. It helps us out. You can find more blogging tips and resources at nichetwins.com.